the goblin shark is not a pretty shark, and that is being polite. In fact, it is probably one of the strangest looking and ugliest sharks you are likely to come across. The shark is rarely seen, and it is the only living species of a family of sharks that has otherwise died out. For that reason, it is sometimes referred to as a living fossil. It is a large shark, usually 3 to 4 m, 10 to 13 feet, with a long, protruding snout and an unusual jaw. In this video I will share with you 7 amazing fun facts about Goblin Shark. Before we begin we published new videos daily. So be sure to subscribe this channel for the great content. Without daily let's start. The goblin shark is sometimes called the vampire shark, as if it wasn't scary looking enough to begin with. The reason it is called a vampire is because it avoids the light by living deep in the sea. Goblin sharks have been found at depths from 270 m to as deep as 1,300 m, 890 feet to 4,300 feet. The vampires avoid the sunlight by sleeping in coffins, but the shark just goes to waters so deep that there is virtually no light. The goblin shark is not as scary as it looks. The goblin shark mostly feeds on fish, mollusks, and crab and it poses no real danger to humans. It lives in very deep water, far from humans, and it is thought to be a poor swimmer and have bad eyesight. There are no reported incidents of goblin sharks attacking humans. On the other hand, goblin sharks sometimes fall prey to other sharks, like the blue shark, themselves. The goblin shark has a Japanese name The scientific name of the goblin shark is Mitsukurina Ostoni. The name goblin shark is also a literal translation of its name in Japanese, Tenguzam. In Japanese mythology, a Tengu is a half-man, half-bird creature with red skin and a long nose, so the name fits. The ugly color is good camouflage the goblin shark appears pinkish or even outright red, if it is older, because the blood vessels show through its skin. This is an advantage in deep water, because red looks black in the depths of the sea, and this helps the shark blend in with its surroundings since the goblin shark creeps up on its prey, the camouflage color helps it hide in plain sight. The goblin shark has a worldwide distribution. It can be found in all the world's major oceans. Specimens have been hauled up by fishermen in Brazil, the Gulf of Mexico, France, Portugal, and Senegal. It has also been found off the coasts of Japan, South Africa, Taiwan, Australia, and even California. An accordion jaw The odd-looking jaw of the goblin shark can expand forward to sweep up prey that passes by. Because the shark is slow and clumsy, it can't rely on hunting down prey, but instead waits for the prey to come near. When the prey is near enough, it snaps its jaw forward to grab it. The jaw is filled with small sharp teeth in the front for grabbing fish, and flatter teeth in the back for grinding up mollusks. That incredible nose is not just for show the goblin shark has a snout that is elongated and looks like a giant blade, called a rostrum. It protrudes far ahead of its jaw. It seems like an odd body part, but it functions as a prey detector, because it is filled with electroreceptors, called ampullae of Lorenzini. These receptors pick up tiny electrical fields of prey. The goblin shark sweeps its long snout back and forth over the seabed, as if the snout were a metal detector, to find its food. Please hit like and subscribe our channel for more amazing content in the future.